In the last lesson, we made the managed context. To do that, we gave it a data model and the database. The data model was a managed data model. It found our managed object, which for our project is Word. The database is a PostgreSQL persistent store. It gets its information from a configuration file, that is, config.yaml. So now we have the context, but we haven't used it yet. So we're going to inject it into the words controller. That way the words controller can use it to make queries. We'll need to update the constructor so that it will accept the context. Let's make a variable of type manage context. We'll call it context. And now let's create a constructor to initialize it. We don't need this list anymore because we're going to use a real database now. So let's just set this to null and also this here to null. Okay, let's get all the words from the database. We're going to make a query. It'll return a list of words. We'll pass in the context. Remember that the managed context that we're passing into query here has a reference to both the database and to the word managed object. Our query is of type word, and last time we already imported it. Okay, to make the query, we'll make a variable word list, and we just have to run query dot fetch. Fetch is just Aqueduct's way of saying select. In this case, it will be a select all. We'll put the word list into the response. The word list will be a list of word objects, but Aqueduct will automatically convert them to a list of JSON objects. Okay, let's try that now. Let's make sure, first of all, that the PostgreSQL server is running. I'll use the pg control command. And yes, it is. Server's running. So let's start Aqueduct. Aqueduct serve. Now let's go over to Postman. We'll type localhost colon 8888 slash words. And we have the result. A list of words. We got this list originally when we use the migration file to pre-populate the database. Our list was arranged in order of ID, but what if we want to sort the list alphabetically? We can do that with a sort by method. It takes a property identifier function that returns our word type. Then we can use that to get the word string. And finally, we can set the sort order to ascending. Now, our database currently only has five words in it. But if it had 500, we wouldn't want to return them all at once. So we can limit the number of words that are returned by using fetch limit. For now, let's just set it to a number smaller than our total. We'll set it equal to 3. And try again. 
pressing send, we get just one, two, three responses. And they're alphabetical. Camel, cow, goat. You can also page the results with page by. To do that, you'll add an extra parameter, bounding value. To understand what bounding value means, let's look at a longer list. Let's say we have a long list of words, and we get them in chunks of five. So the last one is cat. Cat is the bounding value. The next one, crocodile, is. The next one, eagle, is the bounding value. So in this list of three here, the last one is goat. Goat is the bounding value. We could have the request method pass in the bounding value goat, but just so you can see how it works, I'll hard code it here. Restart the server. And now we only get two, everything after goat. So that's horse and sheep, also sorted alphabetically. We don't need to page the results for now, so we'll just go back to sort by. One more thing you can do is bind a query value. We'll call the key Q for query, and the value we'll call prefix. Notice this is all within curly braces. So that means this bound value is optional. You can include it or not include it. If you don't include it, it will be null. So we have to check for null first. So if prefix is not null, then we can search the database for words that start with the prefix. In SQL, when you do a search, you do select where. So here we also use the where method. Query dot where, and then we have a property identifier. So that's a function that returns our type word. And from our word, we can get the word string. And we want to find where that begins with the prefix. And let's make it case insensitive. We'll set that equal to false. It's not case sensitive. Let's restart the server. To add a query to the URL, type question mark, then the query key, which is Q, equals, then the value. So we type C, and that found every word that starts with C. The prefix is C, camel and cow. If we type HO, we find horse. All right, we also have get by ID. Let's implement that now. Again, we're going to use a query. The type will be word. We'll pass in the context. We'll use the method where to find a word whose ID is the same as the ID that the request has. The ID in equal to is the ID that the request passes in. The w.id is the ID of the word from the database. Now we can find the word in the database with query.fetch1. We're only expecting one result, so we can just use fetch1 instead of fetch. Aqueduct automatically converts the result to our word type. We can pass that word into the response. Restart the server.
type slash one for an ID of one. Send and yes. The word with ID of one is horse. Notice that the PostgreSQL database starts its ID with one, unlike the list we used before that starts the indexing with zero. Okay, in the next lesson, we'll go on to implement post, put, and delete. See you in the next lesson.